Hi guys, so in the previous video you saw me fixing my broken air compressor. In this short video we'll take a closer look at the sandbox I've built for it. I made this project about 10 years ago when I bought the air compressor, to reduce the noise to a more acceptable level. So let's take a look inside. The inside is all covered in black acoustic foam and the air compressor sits in the middle. It's not too tight so a decent amount of fresh air can fill the inside. At the bottom, a power strip is used for the air compressor plug and a 12V power adapter. The 12V is used to drive a 90mm cooling fan. The fan is spinning full time during an airbrush session and it's placed in line with the hottest part of the compressor, which is the cylinder head. While the heat is blowing out, some noise is escaping as well. So in an attempt to dampen that noise, a few obstacles are put in the compartment to scatter some of the sound rays while letting the air flow through. Both the hot air and the cable for the power strip are then guided through this hole. If you take the hot air out, then you have to bring fresh air in. So on the other side of the box you can see the air inlet. Again loud noise will try to escape here. So a small channel was made which also redirects the air to the bottom of the box. So basically cold air gets pulled in, heats up when the compressor starts pumping and is then blown out by the cooling fan. The compressor only pumps when the pressure inside the tank drops to 6 bar. It then takes about 8 seconds to reach 8 bar and the motor stops again. But the cooling fan keeps on spinning during the whole airbrush session. So the temperature inside the box quickly restores to room temperature. The box itself was made from 18mm MDF. The panels were cut to size and then glued together with wood glue. An airtight MDF box will reduce most of the noise. But the moment you put a hole in the box, you're amplifying it again. Just like the sound hole is producing the sound of a guitar. So acoustic insulation was mounted on the inside with some hot glue to absorb the sound waves which are bouncing all around inside the box. Some pieces of foam sheet were also added to the walls of the exhaust compartment. The corners were rounded off with a router bit and then a white primer was added with a paint roller. Today the box is still working fine. It lives in a closet to save some floor space. A swimming pool noodle was cut into four pieces to prevent the wheels from making contact noise. The air hose from the compressor comes out of the box on the left side. Then it is connected to a second pressure regulator to set the final pressure for the airbrush. A moisture trap can then be added to separate the water from the compressed air. And with the small taps I can guide the air to the airbrush number one or two. It would make more sense to use one hose with a quick release adapter, but at the moment I'm still using aquarium hoses. And while making this video, I also decided to add a weather strip on the bottom of the lid, to avoid contact noise with the box itself. Next I tried to make a sound recording, to give you an idea of the remaining noise. In real life, the lower frequencies are more sensible than in the recording, and with the closet doors half closed, the setup does work fine for me. Well, I hope this video was helpful to someone, many thanks for watching, keep it safe and see you next time!